Okay, today's video, I'm going to use some of this Flex LED. I'll show the uh, package it coming and stuff. I only got 10 feet of it. I was just going to do like a guitar kind of thing. I'll quickly plug this in so you can see it lights up nice. It's very even. You don't see where the LEDs are. So, so first thing I want to do is I'll get a pair of calipers and just measured this roughly at the bottom here because I need to... It does get wider as it goes up, but you want to be able to at least push this bottom part in. So I'll just put the calipers on there and I see it's around just over five mil. First of all, I'm just going to do a test. So, okay, so for the test, I just created three <coughs> different squares. This one you can see is 5.1 millimeters. This one's five millimeters. This one's 4.9 millimeters. This is just to see, because you see it measured around five, but sometimes with a curve. Before I cut the whole thing, I'm just gonna do these couple tests. Yeah, I think you could pop it into that 4.9 and it would stay in there. So I'm gonna go with the 4.9 millimeter. I'm just gonna go with a simple like guitar. So I'm just gonna type in guitar vector, this one here. So I'm just gonna copy image, pasted it there. So you can just right click and paste or press control and V and then go to trace image just zoom in make sure it's tracing it pretty well I'm going to have to get rid of the uh, little loose bits up the top here okay so now you've got the guitar in here and it's traced uh, you're going to need it a bit bigger so I'm going to flip it around this way and I'm going to stretch this to a nice size and then to do the light channel is simple really. All you have to do is with this selected, you just go to the offset tool. And now you want to offset this, the, the distance that we measured earlier, what was correct. Mine was 4.9. So you want to go outwards and keep in mind as round because this is a round. I'll go optimize as well and then say, okay. So now you've got two lines. So now this is the channel, what the lights is gonna run in. This is 4.9 millimeters. And then now it's selected this one that it just created. I'm going to offset it again. And this time I'm gonna make it 15 millimeters. So now it's got a board around it. So I'm gonna select the whole lot and move this up because you're going to need a backboard for this to go on as well as well where this cable wherever you're going to connect the cable and you want a bit of a hole there so i'm going to draw out a small circle here big enough for the cable to get through this is mainly going to be hidden anyway because this is going to be on the backboard i'm going to put it roughly like where i want my cable to come out so it's going to be right around here I'm going to click the outside line, the one we just created, and press Ctrl and D to get a duplicate. Zoom in and click this circle as well while holding Shift, so both of them are selected. And now you've got the backboard with the hole in the correct place for your cable to come out. I'm going to flip this around to save a bit of space. And move it up. Oh, and one other thing, if you wanted is to drag out another circle here and then if you wanted the same thing on this again you just offset it by the 4.9 millimeters and now you could have a light channel running around this one as well so yeah i'm going to do that and cut it out but yeah that's how simple it is so back to the video Yeah, you can see there, it's pretty bright. I have still got the circle here, which has got to go in the center of this, and then I've got one more ring to go around there, and then I've just got to solder these two together, and then that way it'll be fully done. But as well, you could do an etching at the same time, so you could etch in all the strings and everything else, and then this light will light it up. And then what I suggest maybe is using a bit of 3M tape or something on the bottom of this so when you push it in 
it just sticks in there and then you can glue the MDFs together. Yeah, so thanks very much for watching. And please like and subscribe. And I'll put out another video as soon as possible. Thank you.